I'm Jeremy Denk, and I'm the music director of Ohio 2014, and uh, I'm a pianist, sometimes a writer also, and, uh, and I'm thrilled to be doing this, this festival, which is full of all the weird and varied things that I tend to like. OHA gives you a um, sort of freedom to create a program that reflects you know, sort of the diversity of your taste from earliest music. I mean, we're going to be journeying from pretty early music, as, possibly as early as 1400 to, to the very present day. So, and, and music of great reverence and transcendence and music of great irreverence. <laughs> I took Charles Rosen's book, uh, The Classical Style, a study of Mozart, Haydn, and Beethoven, and I tried to um, not exactly compress it, but extract from it some of my favorite passages and create a, a libretto in which those passages would um, manifest themselves in sort of surreal and comic thought experiments, in which the elements of music themselves and the composers who are long dead would come to life and, and get up to all sorts of trouble. And uh, Stephen Stuckey agreed to take this libretto and try to make a musical evening out of it and uh, he's working furiously right now so the idea is partly to sort of capture some of Charles's great insights about Haydn, Mozart and Beethoven which have become part of sort of accepted wisdom uh, about that music and uh, and then also to have some fun with the classical canon at the same time which sort of connects it to the Yuri Kane which is sort of taking the canon and, and taking the canon for a ride there's Yuri's take on Mahler, which uh, is wild. And then there'll be Yuri will do a thing on the Goldberg Canons, the extra Goldberg Canons, which is another great enthusiasm of mine. I've always loved these 14 extra canons that Bach did. There's something inherently beautiful about the connection between Bach and, those, and the Goldbergs and jazz. Right? Somehow I thought Yuri would do something unexpected. So we'll see what that's going to be. Bach begins with uh, the simplest musical lesson, which is... And those eight notes go together forwards and backwards. And if you turn them upside down, um, the same is true. And eventually he begins adding other elements to the mix. Yuri Kane's going to take those canons and make a, a happening out of them of some kind. A lot of the ideas have to do with um, rewriting, rethinking, or uh, that combination of reverence and irreverence and that uh, celebratory wild. I mean, like in the last program, um, we have Ligeti Etudes and then uh, Ives Psalm and possibly Schoenberg choral work and then the Beethoven choral fantasy, which is a Pretty unusual <laughs> combination. You could really only do that sort of thing at OI. 